Hi, I'm Sue Elrington, and you're listening to Souk Radio on Souk.live. It's been some time since Sue Elrington broadcasted over the airwaves. Spending nearly 20 years in the business, she's told stories to listeners across the country. Community radio, private radio, and the CBC uh, in Montreal and Victoria. That experience led to a casual conversation at the beach about bringing a community radio station to Souk, something that is now well in the works. They knew about my background, asked me if I'd be interested in getting involved. And I said, absolutely, I'll answer questions and consult, but that's it, I'm not going to do anymore. <laughs> well, now I'm doing more. And with that, the Souk Radio Society was born, a nonprofit which now has 10 volunteers that recently got a $5,000 grant from the district. From local music, news, and traffic, the format is ultimately up to them. We want to have a variety of volunteers from Souk doing bringing all different voices to the air. There's no experience necessary for those wanting to volunteer, and Elrington is hoping to offer a studio in a suitcase, giving content creators the equipment and software needed to tell the stories of soup. We'd love to see kids take this on as a class project and produce something. I'd love to see kids with their music. What we want to do is get them excited about showing us what matters to them. Their ultimate dream is to have a studio and FM license but for now, they're hoping for their first online broadcast in 2025. Almost everybody says, yes, it's about time. Souk needs a radio station. The society is holding a meeting at the Souk Community Hall on September 16th, proving they're well on the way to riding this radio wave.